Why do people suffering from Down syndrome have similar face features? While I find some of the comments funny for comedic value, many are making fun of Op. A simple, because it's a trait of having Downs, like Op hadn't thought of that really defeats the purpose of too afraid to ask. You post here because you don't want to be laughed at for asking. Go make fun of someone on another sub. This isn't the place for it. Op wanted to know what actually causes the traits. Not get responses like, the same way people without downs have similar traits. It's all in jest. And that's fine. No one is attacking Op. But it really defeats the purpose of the sub. Edit. The jokes are now downvoted to hell xd. Down syndrome is caused by the copying of chromosome 21. Chromosomes are basically the road map for your body's traits and so having more of certain characteristics can lead to overexpression of some of those traits. Then, because we are evolutionarily very good at spotting small differences in people similar to us, but quite bad at determining difference between people who look dissimilar to us. One of the reasons some people always say, X race all look the same. We pick out the major features but don't always see the variation. So we see people with Down syndrome as having similar faces. Here's some basic facts. Down syndrome, big D, little s, is a genetic condition, not a disorder, not a disease, whereby the person is born with an extra copy of the 21st chromosome. Typically, Humans have two sets of 23 chromosomes, one from mom, one from dad. No one know where the third 21st comes from or when. A third copy of a chromosome in a baby can develop with a third copy of any chromosome. But very few will allow a live birth is called a trisomy. Down syndrome is trisomy 21. The condition is named after Dr. Robert Down, the man who first identified it. Children born with Down syndrome can experience some degree of affectation resulting from the extra genetic material, including the skin fold at the inside corners of the eyes resulting in a recognizable facial feature, a flattening across the back of the skull, a flatter broader nose, and a smaller jaw which may not allow enough room for the tongue to retract fully. Down syndrome can also result in smaller stature low muscle tone, and looser joints. Heart defects are quite common. Though advances in surgery has rendered this problem almost defunct. Celiac disease a genetic inability to process gluten is much more common. The dual diagnosis of autism and Down syndrome has been rising much faster than in the general population. As has early onset Alzheimer's and dementia. It is unclear whether these conditions are more likely because of Down syndrome or that it's just become more prevalent, noticeable, with better care and quality of life. Down syndrome can only be diagnosed with a blood test where the chromosomes are identified and counted. It, and other trisomies, can be detected in utero as early as 8 weeks with a simple maternal blood test there is no reason to terminate a pregnancy that has a positive test result. Given the medical and developmental supports available in most developed countries now, Down syndrome is not the disability it used to be. A baby can be born with classic trisomy 21, where every cell in the body has the extra chromosome, or mosaic trisomy 21, where only some cells have the extra copy. While Down syndrome has some predictable markers and can be easily identified and assessed, the degree to which an individual is affected varies as greatly as the number of individuals who have Down syndrome. With early intervention, most people with Down syndrome can grow up to lead very productive and typical lives. Today, most adults with Down syndrome can read, use computers, finish school, work, and some are now breaking barriers to be able to drive. Most will grow up to have friend and romantic relationships, often marrying with great success. I personally believe that the genes that cause us to be optimistic, hopeful, 
accepting, compassionate, and empathetic are located in the 21st chromosome. I have met many, many people with Down syndrome. And while I've witnessed as many outbursts, frustrations, and temper flares as any other population, when they're not dealing with the frustrations that life tends to overwhelm them with, they have a way of being the most inspiring people you'll ever meet. I didn't know this at one point and thought I was seeing the same person in completely different states and countries. Then I had to research it lol. They are not suffering. I always wondered this too. Now I can read and find out why slightly smiling face. Default model. That's really good question. It was answered in the comments already. Finally my long time doubt has been cleared. Gene dosage effect. Gene balance is not there. Extra chromosome 21. Trisomy 21. Extra genes. Too many of certain gene products. Proteins. Early on in developing. Abnormalities result and observed. Similar face features because they all have the additional chromosome 21 which have genes that give protein products which are involved in the common symptoms or characteristics of Down syndrome. Well now that I know this I wouldn't say, struggle. But before I would've assumed having a chromosomal issue often leads to health issues. And with the fact that most syndromes usually involve inconvenience it's not out of the question. To think this Down syndrome would be hard to cope with. Some people are acting like for us that don't have it or just assuming it would be out of in. Inconsiderate ignorance. There needs to be a lot better education on it and exposure. But because there isn't, don't assume MOP or anyone else is using the term because we think less of people that have it. Of or sorry in a negatively pitiful way. The way Dees has personally been exposed to me is only through special ed programs I've never been in. Special ed or anything but I've seen things on YouTube and TV by disability awareness groups and such. I think also I see it how when it's portrayed with a positive attitude on TV like any other disability. There's a lot of people that confidently accept who they are and their struggles. But not everyone deals with the same things or has the same factors as that person to live positively like that. It often causes intellectual disability which is, well, a disability. For us that don't have it, it would seem hard to cope with having trouble or not being able to do some things that came naturally to us years ago. And furthermore to live in a world that expects this of you. So yeah. We should educate people like me who have had little exposure to D's. But don't assume op is just being ignorant. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.